Hello, Taken, and welcome back to another episode in our wonderful new series of Double Dad's Day Off. I am Apprentice Dad Trellin, and joining me, as always, on this series is Veteran Dan Ryko. Say what up. What up, Veteran Dad in the building, here to <laughs> blow out your eardrums and be obnoxious as fuck. What's up? That was the, like, most dad way to do it. <laughs> Veteran Dad in the building. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of thing you do when, like, you drop your kid off at school and you want to oh, embarrass yeah. him. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking... I, I'm not gonna have a minivan, because I ain't that dad yet, you know what I mean? I, I can't... I can't bring myself... Nothing against minivan people. Like, y'all are cool. Y'all are cool in my book, but... Fuck minivan I, people. Wow. That's a whole... That's I mean, a whole I'm just, people you're I'm just gonna start that beef right now. Damn. Um... But, yeah, man, I just can't, I can't. I, I don't want the minivan. You're not going to come get this ruined shrine, Danny, where we can I get free I am, but I have some unfinished business with these lizard men who are fucking me up while you were soloing the boss. All right, I'll come, I'll come down there, and then we'll come back up and get the shrine no, together. I already got him, because I am a savage veteran dad. Oh, okay. The... Good job, veteran dad. Thank you. There's, like, a weird sound right now that... All right, cool. I got a level. I got... Hose. No, you don't. I got hose. You definitely don't. In the area codes. In Stop lying to the people. I am saying at least once in every single video so far that. <laughs> is good. See, I I can't subject them to my hideous harpy screeches that I call singing. Well, it's your channel, so I don't really care. You know what I mean? They're they're gonna <laughs> they're just gonna love it. I know. Like Raiko. Go on American Idol. You changed my life. I'd be like, thank you. You could but go on American Idol. Already. I mean, that's possible. Oh, I okay, just I turned that in off. Here, right? Yes. Although I got to put my devotion point in because I forgot to. Okay, I will do the same. Plus three percent health to all pets. All pets. That's good. Now. Question, do you know if bleed damage only applies to, like, daggers and stuff? Because I'm using guns. So would that be completely useless, getting bleed damage? Um, your skills will tell you... So, like, if you if you mouse over, like, one of your skills on your hotbar... For example, mm -hmm. my, my, bone, my bone harvest does 148% main hand damage, uh, which doesn't tell me what kind that is, so I'm assuming that's just default... Does 51 piercing, 126 cold, 126 vitality damage. So if you have something that does bleed damage, anything that increases that will increase the damage of that skill. Your weapons also have a damage type. Like uh, my... Piercing. So yeah, it, then you would want things that do piercing. Fear of fire, uh, inferno hand thing. Then you want fire for your trap ice thing. Then you want ice. Whatever your skills and weapons say that they're doing damage, whatever your main damage source is, uh, that's what you want to kind of funnel your skills into. Gotcha. Um, well, then I'm going to do this because I do elemental damage. Cool. I'm ready. All right. Um, actually, we can just portal out of here. I just realized that we finished the quest in here. Our quest was to kill that we boss dude, and we did that. So... Just for anybody maybe popping in this video randomly and just actually listening to what we're well, saying, yeah. do you want to catch people up on what we are doing and or where we are and or what is going on? No. Okay. Fuck them. Right, well, they fuck should, you guys, sorry. They should have watched all the videos. It's their fault for not being faithful fans of Damn. Double Dad's Day Off. Damn, brutal. Whoa. <laughs> I still um, love you guys. We're, we're playing us some Grim Dawn. Um, I've got a little bit of experience with the game. Danny's got, or sorry, Raiko. I keep on outing you as your actual name that nobody knows. Uh, Raiko over here doesn't have very much experience with the game. But we're just trying to go through. Neither of us were aware that the Ashes of Malmuth expansion even existed. I really like ARPGs, but I don't like many of the ones that are out currently. Uh, I tend to think that Diablo 3 is a little bit garbage, and I'm not a huge fan of Path of Exile, so this is my go-to... ARPG. So we're just kind of rushing through that. We're ignoring the story because uh, pace, that's pretty much all. Although every now and then I give you guys story updates and info. And I mean, honestly, like, 
you know, I get it. We're playing an RPG. We probably should be doing story. Like, I get it. But, like, if we did story and listen to every little thing, like, it's just going to fucking be for days. And, I mean, I guess it's not a bad thing. But, you know, it's just... We're just All right. How, how, how about this? Yeah. How about this? I'll give story recaps as we go along from what I remember of my playthroughs. I'm an old man with a bad memory. So if this is off, uh, I don't care. Suck it. So basically this game... Suck it! Suck it! Yeah. This game starts out with us waking up in town in like a circle of salt, and apparently we were possessed by these things called ethereals. Z uh, ethereals basically took over the world. That was the Grim Dawn. I think you went inside that thing that we don't need to go in. You should come back I out. I did. I was just checking to make sure that we'd been in it already. Sorry. Continue. Uh, and basically the Grim Dawn was the zombie apocalypse. Uh, these like spirit things started possessing everything and shit went crazy and at the same time there's like Chthonic stuff which is basically like Cthulhu cult members and stuff like that uh, and all of humanity for the most part as you know it is destroyed there's like a couple of bastions left and every now and then people get possessed by these ethereal things and they just like they kill them when that happens so we got possessed and we were about to be hung but I <laughs> hung. I mean, I was already hung, so that was no problem. But right before we got hung, the ethereal left our body. Because I guess the rule is, if it dies while it's possessing you, then it dies as well. So it was like, peace, I'm out. Uh, and now we Ooh. have special abilities like this thing right here. Creating a rift. But nobody trusts us, because they think that we are like horrible ethereal spies and monsters. So it's basically just us trying to live in this Grim Dawn place. When we wake up, we get a couple of quests from the town to prove that we're not ethereal monsters by like killing stuff and helping out the town, which we've already started to do. And now it's just a matter of kind of like reuniting the different bastions of humanity. And uh, eventually we're gonna get the, uh, the quest to go to the big main bastion aside from the one that we're currently at which is devil's crossing and there's like a big fortress later on and everything that's about where we are we did the quest in the beginning because there's a reanimator that is like bringing all these corpses back to life and he's given the the town some problems we went and killed that and then he was like cool we got some other random odd jobs and shit for you to do like how about you go find some scrap it's not like our town is full of ruined metal and wood that could classify as scrap you have to go out there into junkyards full of poison and pus monsters and find some stuff that we need to use and also some shards and then go into a dirty hole full of stinking lizard monsters and clear that out too please thank you Sounds we did like all I of that. My virginity. Hey. That's that's about what happens when you lose your virginity, kids. Don't lose your virginity. You have to go into a stinking hole full of disgusting <laughs> lizard monsters. <laughs> uh, oh, got him. Damn. Good thing girls don't watch this. Yeah, anyway. girls don't play video games. No, no, okay. Sorry, let me preface that by saying I don't have to worry about whoever I lost my virginity to actually watching this. I mean, not like I keep in contact with them anyways. I love you, babe. I don't know what I don't know what's going on here. I'm just I, I, words. <laughs> words. We should stop talking. <laughs> so yeah, that was my up to date story recap. Oh yeah, I guess the other thing I should say is uh, the other thing that we're doing once we help out Barnabas here and Kasparov is uh, there's like this warden dude who was a super giant dick bag in life, but now that the Grim Dawn has come, he's a super giant monster undead dick bag, which is even worse than a normal dick bag, and we need to go kill him to help out the town. So we're gonna Speaking go do that dick later. Bags, on. Who the fuck are these dick bags? Why are they up here? They are uh, they are one of the factions. Oh, by the way, press J. That's your faction reputation bar. So the guys oh, that we just yeah. met are the rovers, and for some reason, I don't have the rovers as a faction I, I have met. I don't either. Maybe once we do this quest, maybe it doesn't give you the faction until you get some uh, some reputation with them. But as you unlock more reputation, you get like access to more items, and you can get negative reputation, so like the Ethereals and the Beasts and the Chthonians. As you level up more uh, hate with them just by killing them and doing quests and stuff, uh, they'll spawn like special monsters and stuff to, to murderate your face. Murderator. I really need a, a second skill that's not on cooldown that I could just spam. 
Oh, I just got three Sith necklaces. I'm gonna go back and turn in that quest since we're right here. We, I got one. You uh, didn't get any from Slith Town when we went to that little island that we couldn't get into the locked door on. No. Damn. I wonder if me completing the quest also completes it for you. Did that just complete? No. Damn. That. Oh wait. I do have one of those in, in my stash, I think. Hold on. Maybe I do have two. I didn't keep them with me. I just put all that shit in my stash. Because, like I've said, I don't read or pay attention to what I do. I just run around and shoot things. To be fair, I only knew that I should keep those on hand because I, I know this quest. <laughs> because you're a cheater and you know this game. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, the good news is all the new expansion stuff I don't know. And I only really know Acts 1 through 3 decently well. And even like the third act I don't really know all that well. So, we'll, we'll hit a point in this game where my memory and recollection of stuff goes out the window. And that's when my story recaps will get really fun. Yee. Yeet skeet. Uh, this guy, by the way, just wanted us to kill Slith uh, because I think they're like giving him a hard time and he wanted to, to show him what's what. And also he can make us a pretty dope ring when he did so. Alright. How many uh, necklaces did you have? I had three. I turned it in. And nice. The Rovers are now a faction that I know. You are correct, sir. Yeah, they tolerate us. Just like I tolerate you. Ouch. By the way, Devil's Crossing still only tolerates us. Let me do a quick checklist of the things we've done for Devil Crossing. They were Ooh, tormented. That? Oh, that guy just charged me. Yeah. They, they were tormented by undead that they couldn't deal with. So we, after they tried to kill us and then insulted us, went in there of our own good hearts and will and destroyed a super scary giant monster for them. And then, when they finally let us into their town, we gave them scrap to repair their well and cleared out all the slith uh, giant lizard monsters that were in there so that they could actually use their well. And we're in the process of giving one of their researchers the materials he needs for researching. We've returned somebody to the town for them already. They've asked us all kinds of favors. And then when people are like, hey, what do you think of those two guys? They're like, eh, I guess I don't hate them. We must be really annoying to be around. You know, because you're yeah. like, eh, you know, they help us and stuff, which is cool. But, you know, that one just won't shut his fucking mouth. And that guy smells like farts. Like, it's just, you know, it's just not... Not I'm a fun situation. The, I'm the one that smells like farts, and you're the one that won't shut his mouth, aren't we? Is that how this works? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I have been known to be pretty obnoxious, so... And I have been known to fart a lot. Although, I will, I will have you know, and I know everybody says this, but mine's actually true. My farts almost never stink. It's the best. I We'll have you guys know. Swear to God, true story, cross my heart, hope to die. Dude, your farts are death. That Trellin was nicknamed Skidmark in high school. Hey, wait, that's actually a lie. <laughs> it's a cave over I here. was nicknamed nothing in high school because I had no friends. Hey, there's a cave over here, Skidmark. Where's the cave? I'll come to the cave. First off... Stop trying I to make new nicknames that never <laughs> existed, you jerk. What? It's in your yearbook. I saw it. It goes, hey, Skidmark, thanks for being such a swell fellow. You know what's in my yearbook? Because recently Naoko found it when we were moving, and she looked at it, and it depressed the hell out of me. Is like five signatures, three of which are from people that I don't know. <laughs> That's how popular I was in high school. I didn't get my senior yearbook signed at all. I don't remember why. I just was like, it was the only yearbook I actually got as a quest giver down here um, in high school because yearbooks are like fucking 700 goddamn dollars. They're so expensive. Some of my students sometimes ask me, they're like, Mr. Smith, did you buy the yearbook? I'm like, I ain't fucking rich. <laughs> Sorry, go on. I'm rich, biatch. Um, but yeah, so I was just like, I don't know. I guess I was just edgy as fuck. And I'm like, I don't want anybody to sign my yearbook. <laughs> I want a pure pristine yearbook with no dirty signatures. Sounds like you. Pretty much. I was actually... You know, I'm not even going to go there. I'll save that story for another time. Dude, we, we need a story. 
I'm not going to tell you what kind of kid I was in high school. I'm going to be let it be a surprise. Dude, I haven't prepped anything for today because we weren't supposed to record till tomorrow. We need stories. Tell them that story. You oh, actually, maybe we should... We'll save that for tomorrow when we record in the morning. We could both talk about high school and what that was like. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be all hyped up on coffee. I am I'm all hyped up on Mountain Dew! <laughs> I'm what gonna be hyped up on nothing. What's that? What movie is that from? I don't know. It sounds familiar, but I cannot place it. Oh, uh, Ricky Bobby, come on. Oh, okay. You know, I talk about baby Jesus all the time. I should definitely remember that one, but I don't. Whoa. Oh, it's a bad guy. Ah. Yeah, he's a boss guy. It's Julius the Decayed. What a freaking ridiculous ass name, Julius. <laughs> Another blue item. If Do you anybody know... out there coincidentally is named Julius, you I'm suck. Sorry. Your name is ridiculous. <laughs> You're too nice to people. Just tell them like it is. Your name is fucking stupid. And don't be sorry about it. Your parents <laughs> hated you. Why did they hey. do that to you? Kumbiya me, Lord, okay? I love everybody. I love your face. I love your name. Yeah, but you seriously do, like, I think probably 75% of our damage. I, I, I enjoy the Necromancer, and I'm still, like, all down with being the Necromancer, but I do not put out the deeps. Just like your wife doesn't put out. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her you said that. <laughs> No, dumb! And you know Nalco, she's the sweetest person ever. She's gonna cry. Yeah. For real, she's gonna cry. You better not. I love her. I love her <laughs> to death. Yeah, don't talk about her like that, then. It's all from love. It's because she's part of the family. Face is part of the family. My face is the family because it's fucking beautiful. I don't know why I, like, kind of sang and then didn't. Fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful. I oh, shit. I keep on thinking one of my skeletons is you. Like, I really, really do, and I lose track of where you are, so I go off in, like, opposite directions. I wish I that your name, like, hovered above your head so I knew that you weren't one of my skeletons. <laughs> I think, um, in between episodes, I might, like, move some shit around with my skills, because I don't want to, like, waste an episode doing that, and then if they want, if I want to go over it or whatever, we can, but my shit isn't even, um, being recorded, it's just, uh, piggybacking off yours, so it's not the big end of the world, but... No, that's a good uh, idea. Honestly, like, I'm the same way, like, usually I read my skills a lot more than this, but I feel a lot of pressure, since we're YouTubing, to be like, oh man, we gotta keep on moving! Yeah. Oh shit, I'm, like, stuck in a fireplace! Um... This new, uh, gross puking pile of crap is one of my new summons, so just so Dude, you're aware. His name should be David. He's fucking awesome. I love David. <laughs> Alright, David it is. Look at that! David just puked all over everybody. Go David. It's your birthday. We there's go a, party like it's your birthday. There's a cave here. We should go in this cave. Let's go in the cave, David. Ooh, ooh. The skeletons don't get names because they're shitty, but David, he could have a name. David's like, um, like when we were talking about Diablo 2 and you get that, like, short little fat, um... Oh, golem. the blood golem or the iron golem? Which one? The, ir the iron golem. Oh, they're both the shit, but I loved the blood golem because you could cheese the shit out of Diablo with him. Yeah. Ooh, did you did you ever do that? I don't know. I, like, I super loved necromancers in Diablo 2, so maybe that wasn't something you got into. No, I, I'm basically, um, always just a, a class that just comes in shits on your shoes and punches you in the face. Oh, so you were the barbarian with the yeah. leap and the potion find and everything. And then yeah. when assassins came out, I was an assassin because uh, they were dope. That's the, you probably like the traps or the runes or whatever on these guys, this, uh, the Inquisitor it, then, because they're pretty much assassin traps. They're okay, but like like I was kind of talking about a, a, like uh, an episode one or two, I don't remember. Like the synergy of them is just weird. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't played an ARPG in a while. Um... An ARPG? An ARPG? Whoa, I got an extra bag. Sweet! Yeah, we, uh, we got that from the, uh, the Slith quest, I think. Dope. I don't know if you pay attention, but, um, randomly I'll just shoot this giant fucking bullet that just makes people fly in the air. It's really cool. I have not been paying attention to that. I need to now. It makes me moist. But yeah, before, um, I, I keep on doing what I hate when YouTubers do when they start to tell a story and then they get sidetracked and they're like, WHAT WAS THE STORY?! Uh, Diablo 2, the Necromancer, right? If you got to Diablo, 
you could go to one of the... You, you at least remember, like, Diablo's Cathedral, right? How you could, like... There was the three branches, and then you fought in each one of the branches, like, a mini-boss, and then you fought Diablo yes. in the middle. Yes. So if you ran to one of, like, the branches where the corners met, and you went, like, around one of the corner elements, the AI would get, like, really confused. And Diablo, if he had... I gotta go back to town to sell really quick. If Diablo gonna, had... All right, I'm gonna go with you. Hold on. Sorry. All right. If Diablo had a path to attack another enemy, he would, like, almost never attack you. And Blood Golems gave you HP back when they damaged somebody. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they buffed this out, but they might have never. Um, as a necromancer, if you put the, the the curse that hurt things when they attacked, if you put that on them, it counted as the Iron Maiden hurting them, or the, uh, the Blood Golem hurting them. Mm -hmm. So you could just throw your Blood Golem out there, put the, the curse that hurt Diablo when he attacked out there, and then your Blood Golem would just tank Diablo. And every time Diablo attacked him, it would just heal your Blood Golem back up. Oh, that's dope. It was the best thing. <laughs> Maybe not the, uh, you know, the most legit of things. I might have been a baby back bitch for doing it, but I did that a lot. I loved Necromancers. Necromancers and Sorceresses. Frozen Orb. Oh my god, I love Frozen Orb. I had a shitty computer, so Necromancers lagged the fuck out of my shit. Because it was just like... I mean, yeah, you could play a non-summoning Necromancer, but, I mean, really, why would you? That's the whole point of playing a Necromancer, is to summon shit and be dope. Necromancers so. did also lag the shit out of my shit. Like, there was a lot of shit being lagged. That is that is the truth. Shit lag shit! Um, hold on, I gotta go drop some shit in my inventory, speaking of shit. Let me okay. see how many times I could say shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shitty McShit shit. Since you're doing that, I'll check my stash. I have, like, two more items I think I pulled aside that I might want to use. If it makes you feel better, they're not, like, fantastic items, okay? They're just greens. I do have a lot of blues in there, though, that um, I'll see, like, later on, maybe, like you said, in between episodes. Talk to the uh, the lady in town, by the way, because we, we killed her old husband for her. It might have been her brother. It was either her husband or her brother, but basically, like... She was concerned about him and if he was still alive after the Grim Dawn. And spoiler alert, he was not. We killed him, he was an undead, but we got his, like, amulet. And she gives you stuff for killing her brother and or husband. Maybe both. She might have been, like, super country. Super country! You know, I was making, it, I was making an incest joke about the South. Yeah? Okay, cool. Sorry, I was, like, I was reading shit and it just went way over my head. I just country so i just decided to re-say super country so it sounded like i was listening but uh. it was more of a story recap for our lovely listeners than it was anything else fair enough all right hey, I had listener, a... let me tell you you lovely hey um, listener i was gonna say i hate you but that's just it's too mean oh cool he got a new quest he Turn wants us to find his apprentice that. you what now sorry I was just saying I turned into Aether Crystals. I said it really terrible on purpose. Aether! Okay. Uh, ooh, I have seven fucking ability points. Let's do this. Sorry, fam. Uh, Why are you not me? spending your ability points? Son? Oh, I went to your rift. I don't want to go to your rift. Your rift is dirty and gross. You're seeing off against some of the humanity's greatest foes. I'm going to go to our I'm feeling very happy with my contingent of, of people here. I got four Skelebobs and... Do we name him David? I already forgot his name. Yes. Alright, we got David and four and the four Skelebobs. This is my rock band I'm gonna make. David and the right. Skelebobs. David and the Skelebobs! I gotta stop singing, I'm done. Woo. Okay, <laughs> Dude, stop. sing more. Keep on Hell singing, nah. Ben. Hell nah! Homie, don't play that way, dog. Where the fuck did I just come out at? Not where I need to be. You probably uh, took yours. Oh, this is weird. So David actually has a health bar up near my party. My Skellibobs don't. That just okay, must... So that that means on. David's dope and Skellibobs are shit. Yeah, that just emphasizes how bad the Skellibobs are. David, if you're watching, you're the MVP of this. Skellibobs, ain't nobody love you. If you're watching Skellibobs, you have no parents, you have Ugh. no soul, and you wow. are the worst fucking things in existence. That's a Jesus lie. I love you, Christ. Skellibobs. Wow. <laughs> that was very hurtful. I didn't even have anything to do with <laughs> What Man. did the Skellibobs do to you? 
Seriously. Why do I have pet attack? I don't even have pets. Why do you have pet attack? I don't Maybe know. it's expecting you to get some pets. Maybe because you named David, he loves you more than he loves me. My archer skelebobs actually do some decent damage. Oh, David. I wanna kiss your big toe. David. He's got a sexy big toe, man. It's all full of pus and, and corruption, but I mean, it's pretty sexy. That is disgusting. <laughs> Just like your face. Jeez. Why are you not I'm out not. here wrecking face with me? I'm literally right next to you. See that green shit? That's, or blue. See that blue shit? That's me, dog. Oh my That's god. That's me, homie. You know, this, this is why I, I stopped playing uh, League of Legends, by the way. Like, when shit gets crazy, like, I literally can't pay attention to what's happening. Why? I don't know. I, I just, I super tunnel vision, and then I'm like, uh, and I look at like one thing and only one thing, and that's it. And in League of Legends, the next step is I die. Well, you see, League of Legends is cancer. It is. It's the worst. It's the worst. I would still play no, it I if I could like die, and then people are like, ah, oh, whatever. But I die, and people are like, you were a mistake in life, and everything should kill you. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I had fun playing League of Legends back in the day, but I mean, it just turned so fucking toxic. And dude, you, like you were you were part of that though. You got so salty when you played I, League oh, of yeah. Legends. I, that was like why I had to stop playing because I just get so mad every time I lost a game in fucking League for no fucking reason too. It's just like I don't know, but uh, I remember playing with you a few times, and I think like three was you like. Three games was usually the most we can get, because you would get, like, so mad and we'd have to stop playing. Unless we were winning, and then we could just play forever, because you were like, yeah, we're the best! Hey! Don't out me like that! I'm not trying to out you, like, everybody gets salty, man, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just, you get I'm salty. Just, I'm just fucking with you, I don't give a shit. Have, have you actually watched any of my Darkest Dungeon stuff? I get super salty about some of the crits and stuff like that in that. Like, I smash that motherfucking like button every time. I sit there and wait for the video to come out so I can smash it even harder. I've gone through seven keyboards smashing that like button. See, you wreck the like button, but do you actually watch the video? Or do you just open it and be like, 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 and then, like, I, click off of it? I watch as much of it as I can. Yeah, like, five seconds of it. You're like, no. oh, I can't stand this shithead. I'm gonna turn this off. No, I've watched, um, I've watched most of the first three episodes. Like, I've watched the first three episodes. Did I have like seven episodes out? Hey, <laughs> my, my girlfriend just went back to work. I've had the baby. I've been busy. It's hard to watch shit. Don't judge me. I am judging you so hard. We got another cave here. I'm changing the subject. This bitch I think, got titty. I think we've already been in that cave, dude. I I don't wanna what? Oh. Alright, fine then. Fuck this cave. This cave's for fucking noobs. You should go in it. We should Oh, uh, we have we have the White Meyer Rift already. So the thing is, it's been about 30 minutes, right? You said right. you probably had about an hour before you had to finish, so I don't think it's gonna be safe to start another episode. We're gonna do some shop talk here for the, the listeners. I think we breaking should break in the fourth wall. We're breaking all the walls, man. Don't stop at the fourth. I think we should well, call it here for right now, and then okay. we will come back tomorrow and we'll record some more episodes. I don't nope. know. Let's 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 find the next. We'll we'll make this one a little bit longer. Let's just like run that through to the next rift portal. All right, that's fine. I was gonna say. I mean, we can also just go back and our skills. I mean, if they want to stay and hang out and listen to us talk about our skills and shit, we can do that, or they can bounce. That's a good point. Also, I didn't realize the other rift was right here. I'm glad we did that. So let's do that. We're gonna we're gonna do our skill stuff. If y'all want to stick around, uh, you are welcome to. You can just listen to us talk about skills. We're gonna be very focused on the skills, though, so it's probably gonna be subpar commentary. All of our commentary is subpar, so it's gonna be extra subpar commentary. If you want to leave, totally understandable. Thank you for watching. We hope you come back next time. I'll give you a preliminary boy right now, and then we'll give the real boy later. If you're leaving right now, I hope you stub your big toe and it bleeds. Also, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, you like how yeah. I added in right there on that? That was... Yeah. I got your back, bro. Alright, so who's this fool we talked to about returning our skill points? Upper right corner of the uh, back area. Alright. Alright, what is no. this? Do? I do not need this at all. That's a pretty crappy one. This one, I need to be one more level. Ooh, I gotta get a main hand item really soon, because this is good. Ah, oh, you fucking shitting me. You do have to pay for it. No, I know. I just, I took them all off, and then, uh, um, I did undo, so I have to retake them all off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right. I have one point available in my devotions. I didn't realize that. Let's I get some more jackal going on. Is it a jackal? It's a jack jackal. Is it jackal? a jackal? It's a jackal. <laughs> what's, what's that from? What's that from? Come on, you know it. Family guy. Yeah. It's a jackal. Is it a jackal? It's a jackal. It wasn't a jackal the first time. Why would it be the next <laughs> 17 times? Oh, uh, it looks like you can reclaim your skill points from the bottom there. So I was wrong about that. Maybe they've made it so you could change your class too. I do see a minus. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna reclaim one point here. Do I want to be an occultist or a shaman? I feel like the occultist is gonna have more overlap with my abilities because this does poison uh, damage. If you're not doing much damage, from what I remember with the shaman, they don't do much damage. Well, that's I just because be you suck at games, man. Okay, first off, <laughs> that is a bold face lie. Second off, eat my ass. I mean, my main my main character, my actual Trullin character, the reason why I can't name this one Trullin, because I have like a level 54 character I don't want to delete, is a main occultist. Oh, uh, well, I mean, if you already have a main occultist, then yeah, I'd do something else. But a sub-occultist is different from a main occultist, right? I mean, yeah, but it's still like, I don't know, try something different. What does Shaman do? This is Devouring Swarm. It does Vitality and Bleed damage. This is Physical and Bleed. Can make a Briar Thorn. Is a Briar Thorn the only thing this can summon? Oh no, and a Primal uh... Spirit. I got a Primal Spirit and a Briar Thorn. And that's it. Okay. I think the occultist gets like a raven, uh, a good boy dog. Good boy. Who's a good boy? And what else do they get? They get one more, right? There's the good boy dog. There's the raven. I swear there was one more. Maybe I am tripping balls because I don't see one more. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I, I do think the better choice would be Occultist. There's just way more sh synergy, synergy, like vitality damage, super overlaps. I've got to be really good. But I've, I've played a lot of Occultist and I've never played Shaman. Yeah. So I'm basically just running with like one skill. Well, no, I could do this. I just don't really like these other skills that they offer, um, that the Inquisitor offers. Like I was basically using the one fucking trap skill. It was the only thing I liked actually doing damage. And everything else was just passive damage, which I like. Um, what does this do? When the power to destroy their foes revitalize allies with a single phrase, words of power quickly become a staple of the Inquisitor's arsenal. The warlord of renewal established Inquisitor's crisis assets during the wartime, yada yada yada. Alright, so quick update for you. I, I tested it. I was the sacrificial lamb for us. Uh, once you pick your second class, you cannot undo it. Okay. So make sure that you're like devoted to what you want that second class to be because uh, you can reduce your, your mastery points, that bar on the bottom, down to one. But you mm -hmm. can't reduce it to zero, and you can't undo your class. Okay. Stay strong. I'm fine with it. I think I can make a pretty cool Necromancer Shaman. Thematically, because you know I'm a D&D &D nerd and I like RPG stuff, I really like like the concept of a Necromancer Shaman, just because they're at such odds with each other. Yeah, that sounds pretty dope, actually. And the, uh, the class name for when you combine them is called a Ritualist, which I think is also pretty cool. 
I can make this work for sure. At the very least, I'll just dip into the Shaman's uh, Briar Thorn and Primal Spirit. Although Primal Spirit's really far down. I might not want to go that far down the line. Um, might be, it's probably a stupid question, but I mean, just to make sure. Any elemental damage is just considered obviously anything elemental, right? So fire, frost, all that kind of shit. So yeah, I actually tested this earlier once again on that like level seven or eight or whatever it was, um, dude that I made. Uh, yeah, I think things like cold burn and um, burning or whatever those are, like the special elemental types, I don't think are affected by it. But mm -hmm. frost, fire, and electricity. Uh, I th those ones are boosted by just flat out elemental damage. Okay, cool. So, I, cause I'm, I, kind of fucked up my devotion a little bit. I went, I went a random way, but I'm just, I'm gonna make it work because there's a, the candle, um, does elemental damage. And my second class, I think I'm gonna do demolitionist. So I'm gonna have demolitionist and inquisitor, and they both one does fire, one does like ice and other random elemental damage. I think I'm gonna focus on doing el extra elemental damage mixed with, well, Cultist could be cool. Inquisitor or Cultist. I've never played a Cultist and I've played Dem Demolitionist before. So don't feel like you don't feel like you got to lock in right now, man. No, I know. I'm just trying to think of it. Cause I mean, if you're doing something different, I'm doing something different, I want to do something cool and exciting and new. So, all right, I'm going to cliffhanger it and I'm going to decide next episode what I'm going to do. <laughs> Nice quality. I'm gonna put in a devouring swarm ability really quick because I think if I put that then on my yeah, I could spam that. Okay, cool. I got a spammable skill now, and it does it does vitality damage and it does bleeding damage. The vitality damage overlaps a little bit. There's some synergy here. Yeah, I could definitely make this work. Are, are we cliffhangering it then? Are we going to come back tomorrow and let them see where we at? I think I'm good. I'm good to go. Messed up some stuff or messed around some stuff in my inventory. Messed I'm up down, some stuff. I'm down from like six skills to two because I wasn't using the other four. It kind of seemed like booty. So I'm ready. All right. Well, with that being said, this has been a little bit of an extra long third episode. We're at 37 minutes. I still have no idea how long our first episode was, but that's cool. So thank you all for watching. Uh, before I give the bye, do you want to give any kind of uh, outro or anything here, Raiko? Uh, sorry, what was that? Do you want to give any kind of outro or anything before I give the boy at the end? Well, you know, I just wanted to have us all come together and really focus on... Nah, I ain't got nothing. Hey okay, guys, thanks cool. for coming and watching. Uh, I appreciate, you know, all, all your support that you're giving to the video. And I really hope you guys have an amazing day because y'all beautiful and I love you. All right. Raiko loves you. I love you. David loves you. Oh, my God. Look at David. Oh, David. <laughs> he is, he is a hideous monstrosity. I love you, David. You're so great. Uh, we will all see you next time. David will see you next time. Don't leave this adorable, bloated man corpse waiting. Come on back. See us again. Check it out. Boy.